Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. You guys might have seen an ad for a service called Incogni. Um, a lot of YouTubers being sponsored by Incogni, and myself have even been sponsored by Incogni. But objectively, do you really need this service? What exactly does this service do? Now guys, if you do want to buy Incogni after this objective video of kind of like the pros and cons, whether you need it for your use case or if not, use my link in the description down below if you do decide you do want to buy it. This will give you around 50% off, make around $78, roughly half the price of all the competitors out there and better, at least in my extensive test for the last four or five years. So guys, in the rest of this video, I'll be discussing Kind of why you should buy Incogni or you know why exactly it's useful what exactly it even does but just right off the bat let's go ahead and get into the why maybe you shouldn't buy Incogni just to be objective here for this video well i would say the number one reason not to buy Incogni is probably maybe you don't even care about being doxxed are you someone who isn't public on the internet maybe you're not really worried or maybe you don't even care about someone doxing you well you might not need incogni then because one of the primary reasons i recommend it is people are worrying about getting doxed maybe you're getting harassed online maybe you uh, don't want your public information being out there but if you don't care about that if you don't care about people doxing you well you might need not need incogni second reason you might not care about incogni maybe you don't really care about robocalls are, are you getting robocalls maybe not um maybe you don't care about people spamming you maybe you just turn your phone off or you're not using it something like that that is probably not that practical but maybe that's not a huge issue for you S thirdly um maybe you don't care about all the other reasons you might need a service like this uh maybe for example you don't care about a website hosting your name, phone number, address, and your family members information wide open to the internet like some kind of data broking whorehouse. Maybe that's just not a concern for you. For some people, it might not be. Lastly, one other reason you might not need Incogni or a service like it is you have unlimited free time to remove information from 200 plus websites. Maybe you're autistic enough to go to each one of these websites, send out a form, and do it very patiently and maybe it's even fun for you for most people probably not but maybe for you maybe not a big deal maybe you'd prefer to save your money and do it yourself that's perfectly valid would i do that no well you could trust me since i've been one of the first people to discuss incogni and i've been reviewing these kind of services for a long time incogni is actually similar to other services out there like delete me and there's a couple other different services too and i've even made a tier list ranking all these services but what exactly does it do? Do you need it? What if you did what this service did on your own? These are the questions we're going to be answering in this video. So guys, one interesting thing I wanted to do is ask delete or um, chat GPT, list me some similar data brokers like um, white pages. Now white pages, I would say is one of the most popular ones um, when it comes to um, information. A lot of times people will use white pages to dox people, to look up things about people, to even stock people. So there's also a lot of other ones out there too. Now, um, chat GPT only listed me 17, but 17 is already a lot you can see here we have experian this is kind of like a credit bureau one axiom one of the largest data brokers in the world equifax is a credit bureau that it engages in extensive data broking transunion the third big of the credit bureaus also engaged in data brokerage um, some of the ones that i see here that i notice people find her specializes in public records including addresses phone numbers and family connections spokio collects information from public services um yeah let's just say there's a lot of them i've also kind of looked around at some other websites and sources and uh, here's one that says there's a ton according to this website privacyrights.org um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty times nine according to this one there's around 180. However, I've also been able to find sources of more. For example, if you go to, um, it's, just, it's just a lot. According to this website, here's some of the top biggest ones. Opter is actually one of the services that actually does something similar to Incogni. Um, it's kind of rated okay in my data tier list. Um, here is the number of pages it has. Apparently, Rocket Reach has almost 
Am I reading that right? Almost 5 million peaches? This one has so many. Jesus Christ. White peaches apparently isn't even as big as some of these other ones. Apollo PQ. I haven't even heard of some of these. I didn't know they were hosting this information. Yellow book. Locate people. Where's Spokio on this? I don't even really see it. Jesus Christ. This is a huge problem. Another problem with these websites, even just from hosting information and letting you get docs, basically, um, you can get robocalls. Robocalls are extremely annoying. Having someone call you, seeming to know where you live, seeming to know a lot about you. Um, not only is it dangerous for robocalls and just being annoying, but I actually feel like some of these websites can contribute to elder abuse, um, elder scams. Um, if your grandma gets called by some Indian guy who knows everything about her and says he's from the IRS or something like that, um, and she gets scammed, well, there you go. You're welcome. Let's see theoretically what it would be like um, requesting information from these websites to be removed. That's one way to do it. Um, do not sell my personal information. So is this the section? Right to opt out. Rights for California. Okay, well, what if I don't live in California? You can opt out and have your listing removed. So you just copy and paste it. So and then you click next. Um, enter a new name. Click on results. Match your identity. You do not have to create an account. Okay, so it doesn't look like it'd take too long, but let's say, you know, for another one. Keep in mind, there's like maybe 200. Do you want to do this 200 times? I'm not so sure. Um, let's go down here. Do not sell my info. It's crazy that, like, you have to tell these websites not to sell your information. What, in, what right do they even have to your information in the first place? It's crazy to think about. So as you guys can see, this is a huge problem. So many websites have access to your information. Just finding them all in this video has been tricky. Some websites say there's like 200, some say there's like 500. The scale of websites differ. Um, uh, the process on each website is different as well. Um, let's say you find like 60 or 70 of them. You spend hours doing it and maybe there's like 20 to 30 you didn't know about. Maybe there's new ones that pop up. Maybe there's some that have your information down for now, but then they bring it up later. This is a headache. So you guys might be wondering, okay, Tom, you've proven that there's a use case for these products. Um, but what is it actually like to use Incogni? Well, fortunately, pretty easy. And it's not something you really have to use too often. It's not like a VPN that you connect to on your computer. Really, it's just a website where you fill out your information and then you pretty much just watch it do the work for you. As you can see here, Incogni claims have saved around 164 hours. Um, there's 42 suppression less informations, which means they can't collect any more information about me, which is pretty good. As you can see here, um, just in the last month, I've been using the source for two years, but I'm still getting requests removed all the time. You can see a full activity log as well, just seeing how much information. There's a hundred different um, entries here and each page has probably 28 things. So that is a lot of stuff it removes. So just goes to show you how good this is. Additionally, some websites might require more information to confirm the removal. So that's something that's also there as well. You can also see a detailed view to see kind of individual websites, information about them and so on. I like this feature. This isn't something that some of the other websites have. You can see when the request was sent, when it was completed, resolution time. And this is very nice interface very easy to use um so definitely it's it's good to use it's a good product at the end of the day i can see why these services exist at the end of the day personally why do i use incogni objectively well it's just the cheapest one that does what it says it is i already kind of discussed this in previous videos um competing services around twice the price usually um uh, not to mention some other services like one rep or mozilla mozilla's kind of partner with sh ship with them kind of went down in flames after it turned out that one rep used to host websites and is now removing data from those websites that hosted not a good look all right, guys, that's my final thoughts here in this video. Hope you found that useful, and I'll see you again very soon.